What is up you guys, Dennis Garcia here. How the hell is everybody doing? I am doing fantastic and as you guys can tell by my appearance today, I actually brushed my hair. I did something different with my hair. My hair is extremely thick, extremely wavy, extremely frizzy, and when it's in that weird growing phase where like it's growing and I'm letting it grow out, there's rarely ever much that I can do to my hair because it always frizzes up, it always, is unmanageable and like just poofy and wavy and just crazy. But um, a couple of days ago, I did go to Target and I found a sea salt spray for like wavy hair. And I decided to buy it and try it out because I don't generally put stuff in my hair because my hair, like I said, is really fucking thick. And putting anything in my hair just kind of makes me feel icky. Any sort of like pomades or gels or hairspray on my hair just makes like the inner layers of my hair feel super gross because I know that there's like a layer over my hair that's like sticky and icky and oily and when I touch my hair or brush my hair it's just like I don't know I have a thing with textures it's just it, it doesn't work for me so I decided to try this sea salt spray it's basically just water and sea salt and it's supposed to keep your hair like maintained and like feeling beachy and feeling like you just got out of the ocean. I've tried it a few times, but like today especially, my hair is looking fucking great. Every video that I post, I'm like, yeah, I'm so excited to get back into vlogging and making YouTube videos. And then I don't post for like a month. And then I come back and I'm like, yeah, guys, I just, you know, live. But I'm gonna get back into vlogging, I promise. And then I don't. Um, I've realized that I am creatively blocked. I've realized that I have a lot of trauma that I have not gone through. I actually saw a couple of TikToks on my For You page about a book called The Artist Way. And it's essentially a book that helps heal your inner child. It helps unblock any creative blocks that you may have. And it helps kind of go through any like internal drama or like in internal trauma, not internal drama. Internal trauma that you haven't healed from or really spoke out about. Things that you haven't really brought up to the surface in a really long time that, I, that are kind of like hindering your creative juices from flowing or or causing any sort of like insecurity or just keeping you from fulfilling your creative passions. I have been um, super blocked for like months now. I have not had any passion for photography or filming lately or making vlogs. I haven't really had any ideas on what I want to do with my channel or like what I want to create. And I've just kind of, I'm, I'm getting tired of it. I'm getting tired of not following my dreams because I don't know what I'm doing. And so I got this book online on the internet as an ebook and I started reading the first chapter. And let me tell you, so far in the last two days that I have started doing the exercises and all of the tasks that are given in each chapter, I am finding stuff about myself that I have hidden, that I have not spoken about, that are coming to the surface, that I have never even thought about in a really long time. Trauma and things that people have told me that have discouraged me from wanting to follow my dreams and passions because they've made me feel embarrassed for it or insecure about it. And it's bringing up things that people have said to me that I've totally forgot about that have brought out this like anger in me and resentment in me that I have to now go through those processes and learn how to forgive and learn how to get past that trauma to be able to unleash this creative block. From just the first chapter, which is the first week of the book, you kind of have to just jump head into it and just like do it. So the first exercise that you really have to do in this book is write to yourself three pages of anything. You literally just sit down and just write or type. Um, this book I think was written like a long time ago. So this was before people actually use like laptops and computers and things like that to write things down. I am not a good writer. I don't like writing, especially three pages in a notebook. My hand hurts, it cramps, it's not fun for me. So I type on my laptop. I will literally sit there for like a 10, 15 minutes, however long it takes me to write three pages. 
and I just write. And the funny thing is that they tell you to not think about it. Don't think of what you want to write about. Just start writing. So the first two days, I have done six pages. It is three pages for every day that you do. And you just kind of got to write. You sit down and you, you start off by saying like, Today, I woke up at 9.50 in the morning. I went downstairs to make a coffee. And now I am upstairs writing my three pages. And then from then on, it just kind of like snowballs to like other things. And you just kind of got to type unsubconsciously. They call it in the book, a stream of subconsciousness. It's just like a stream of subconsciousness. Like you just, you open a faucet and whatever comes out, you write. You don't think, you write. And by the end of, of the, the pages, you're just like, holy shit. I just talked about something that I haven't really talked about in a, lo in a long time that just kind of came out. And every topic kind of takes you to like a different place. And like the whole idea is to just let go. To just let go and write or type. And, and it brings up shit that you have not dealt with and it it brings up like stuff that maybe you haven't talked about and those are just like the first 15 minutes of the day um the artist who did this book i believe her name is julia don't know her last name which i know is bad because i just started this book but i know it's called the artist way her name is julia and she says that she has been doing these exercises for the last like 10 to 15 years if i'm not mistaken and she's been writing three pages to herself in a stream of subconsciousness for the last 12 years so every single day you are writing three pages of just whatever comes out you open up that faucet in your brain and you just write three pages every single day that she's been doing this for like 10 to 15 years I'm on day two, and we are already uncovering a lot. The first chapter is essentially the first week of the book, and I have to do a lot of exercises. I have to take myself out on an artist date, which essentially means just like taking my inner child out. There is something in my nose that is really bugging the fuck out of me. I am sorry for picking my nose on camera, but it's bugging me. Um, and just taking out my inner artist child out. And that could be anywhere to like a zoo, a museum, a movie, a coffee date where I'm just like by myself. I can't bring anybody with me. I have to be by myself for at least two hours once during the week. And then I also have to write a letter to myself where I'm like supporting myself and defending myself. I have to do affirmations. I have to write about a person who has hurt me in the past in regards to my dreams and passions of a trauma that maybe I have not dealt with. And then I have to write a letter to that person, but not like give it to them. I just have to write a letter to them that they'll never read to just kind of get out any sort of like frustrations that I may have, any sort of trauma that I'm still dealing with and just like learning to heal. I have become a shell of a person and it's, it's kind of sad because like I will want to go out and film in public. I want to like vlog in public, but like I get embarrassed easily where like I start shutting down when somebody looks at me. Like I'll want to go out and take pictures and take photographs of people and take pictures of my friends or get into photography and like do like weddings and, and models and, and follow my dreams and passions. But a lot of the times when somebody looks at me and watches me, I like shudder. I like, I like get small and I crawl into this like hole in my head and I'm like, oh my God, people are staring at me. I don't want to do this anymore. Can we leave? I can't vlog in public. Like even in my own car, whenever I want to like vlog and I'll like start a vlog and I'm like parked in a parking area where I know no car is going to come next to me. I park there on purpose so that I can vlog comfortably. And then a fucking car comes and parks next to me and I'm like, what is that? Oh God, there's a car that just came over next to me. Let me just put my camera away and pretend like I was not doing anything. And I'm trying to get over that. I'm trying to get over those insecurities. I'm trying to just get past that. And I feel like this book, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to help really unleash my inner artist, as James Charles would say. Um, 
So it, it's kind of interesting. It's been definitely an interesting process the last two, two days. And I'm very excited to sort of see where this book takes me. Um, I'm going to keep you guys on the loop. I'm going to update you guys every week how it's going. Um, so far, I do recommend this book. It is it is unleashing some really interesting things. And I'm barely two days in. And um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about my thoughts on this book. And the process that I'm kind of going through to kind of regain my self-worth back. And I'm also going to start vlogging again. I know. I've said that a lot. But I really am. I'm going to start vlogging tomorrow. Today I was going to start vlogging, but um, this book just kind of got into my head. And now this whole ent entire video is about this book. So tomorrow I'm going to start vlogging my day from the morning. And just kind of go about my day and my week. And as I'm vlogging, I will update you guys on the book and how I'm doing with my exercises. Maybe you guys can come with me on my artist date. Um, since it is about being creative and fulfilling my creative inner child, I am excited to follow my passions again and kind of get back into it for reals and like actually do stuff because my camera has just been sitting in my shelf behind me over here, right there, untouched and unused unless I pick it up for the half hour that I am filming a YouTube video that I, I, I don't post or that I don't follow through with or that I say I'm gonna vlog and then I don't so yeah <laughs> I want to start vlogging tomorrow for sure I have a new bed that is coming in tomorrow which I'm very very excited about I got a bed which is the same one that I have now it's the exact same one but it has a headboard I used to not like headboards and then I got this bed that did not have a headboard and the room just feels like it has no character. I am not excited that I have to put it together and I have to undo this bed frame that I have because it's really heavy. Um, but I'm very excited to bring you guys along with me in my let's build a bed. Let's build a new platform bed for my room. So I'll take you guys on that journey since I'm going to be vlogging anyways. And yeah. I will see you guys next week for that vlog. Um, but I hope that you guys are gonna follow me to my journey of the artist way. I'm very excited to see what it uncovers and what it unleashes. And uh, hope that you are as excited as I am. And if you are reading the artist way or if you've read the artist way, Comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. I'd love to know if you finished the book. Are you still keeping up with the exercises? Are you? Did you enjoy the book? Like, tell me, tell me what you went through reading this book and doing these exercises and doing all the stuff that it outlines for you in the book. And since finishing it, has your life changed? I would love to know. And if you're still reading it, if you're still in the process of doing your exercises, How's it going? I would love to know what I'm getting myself into. Seriously, let me know your experience, whether you're still reading it or you finished it. I want to know because I am very, very curious. But aside from that, I hope that you guys are all having a wonderful day. And I will see you guys next week for my first vlog back in a really long time. All right, guys, I hope you're all having a good day and a good week and a good month and a good year and a good life. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.